I'm Joe Duffy, CEO of OffshoreInsiders.com, and I've broken the code. And, of course, you can get my picks at OffshoreInsiders.com. Envision if, as an opposing coach, you had the authority to literally use Michael Jordan's talent against him, or Wayne Gretzky's, or Tom Brady's. And, yes, I'm speaking of their prime. This is not a trick question. That describes what advanced analytics is and why all the supreme handicappers harness this edge. If I could summarize what many angles in the next-gen handicapping boast in one word, it would be counterintuitive. Long-standing clients already are in the know. If one couldn't even name one player or was untaught in the rules of a sport, she could still dominate betting by going contrary to the normal better expectations. As an example, she could simply eyeball straight up records compared to the point spread and observing the line makes no sense based on said criterion that we just used, we could use the odds maker's knowledge against them. Wait a minute, what the hell did I just say? All right, here's an example. Team A has a stronger winning percentage than Team B. Yet Team A is the home underdog. Again, Team A would be a home underdog despite a better straight-up record. Now, squares would be giddy, trusting that the home underdog is a lock. Sharps make the odds makers' forte their own. We pros know that road favorites, despite inferior records, are 220, 183, and 5 in the NBA. Because home court is worth 3 to 4 points, a team with the same record should be favored at home by a few points. Well, as the Sharps know, this is fake news. Road favorites with an identical winning percentage as their opponent, 91-78-2. So, when the team with the better record is playing at home and yet they're not a favorite, going against them is 311-261-7. That's using the odds maker's knowledge against them. There are skilled handicappers out there that I have no problem admitting that many of them can probe personnel matchups much better than I do. But their challenge from a handicapping standpoint is that the odds makers know the talent discrepancies as well as anyone. The lines makers are essentially the Michael Jordans of handicapping. Rather than just scouting the teams, we know and exploit the strengths of the lines makers and make their strength our own. There are countless examples beyond the most basic one that I mentioned above. In short, if the point spread in comparison to the straight-up record, quote-unquote, just doesn't make sense, there's a very good chance it doesn't. It actually makes dollars. Now, for the best picks in the handicapping world, Joe Duffy's Picks, OffshoreInsiders.com, been a professional handicapper full-time since 1988, and worked for Dallas Sports while I was in college a couple years before that. This is all I do. I live and breathe winners. The best picks in the history of the industry, Joe Duffy's Picks at OffshoreInsiders.com.